Hey guys, welcome back to Trick Belt, and today I'm going to be filming a Lego set that I got a month ago. It's the first time doing it, and I hope it's going to be fun and gets a lot of likes. So subscribe if you haven't, and we'll get into the video right now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the best thing for me of the Lego sets are the minifigures. So first we've got a Manta Ray, then two Marrowway Guards. Glutinous, King Calamar, Niad, Scuba Kai, and Benthama. So those are the minifigures of this set. I'm going to be starting with the main thing of the set is the ginormous temple here. And inside the temple, you can put all kinds of like minifigures and stuff, and it's really cool. So for the temple, there's this, well, this is the outside of the temple. And on the outside, there are a lot of, like, features already. See, so begin at the top, nothing interesting. And at the bottom, there are gateways to go in. And I'll show you guys that in a sec. So right here, there's, like, spears. Spears, the spears actually come out. And if you put a minifigure, like, let's say, uh, let's put Scuba Kai. I know that I have his paddles on, but technically, if I push the back, he's going to fall off because of the arrow. Then, if we turn him to the back, we have at the bottom the storm amulet and the little, well, the water amulet. And here there's a little gun, so at the entrance, they can shoot you. So that just shot at you guys, but you guys might have not seen it. And then if we still go back in, there's a statue of a guy, which I don't know who. And yeah, then you go up in the main build, like to the top, and you have Benthamar's room, like uh, Calamar's room, sorry guys, with like a fish pole, and then lights, an ancient scroll, and then tests and stuff, like a mini laboratory, and that's it for the huge building. Okay guys, so for the next like part of this set, which on the box is right there, we have this like tower. And I love it, it's like my favorite detail because it has all kinds of cool features. So here you have Kalmar's staff and water pieces. And then here you have a stun shooter, like created in like an arrow. So let's say we have Kai again, since like there's only like kind of like one ninja minifigure in this set. You just shoot him, and then he explodes. Next, if you turn around, there's actually a jail to put cut, well, a mini a Lego minifigure in. And you can push it out on the side right here. And you can actually, like right there, there's that lever right there. You push it, and it opens the gate, which is really cool. And then, inside, there's not really much. It's just like a jail cell. Then here... You have the lookout, technically, for a Marrowway Guard to go in. And the Marrowway Guard can then come in here. You can't actually fit. That's just sad. Then up here you have, open it up, and you have some weapons inside, which is really cool. And that's it for that tower in this set. Okay, guys, so for the next mini tower... I call it the glutinous laboratory. So here's the outside. Why? Because when you turn around, there's like a laboratory inside. And that's technically where glutinous works. So like, that's like kind of where he works in there. And that's like his mini laboratory. Next is just a simple little, little like thing. It's a clamshell. And you just open it and inside there's a pearl. A nice shiny pearl. And then you turn around, nothing too interesting. So that's just it for that mini statue. Next is Kai's mini, like, um, his, like, mini submarine thing. Now, I'm just going to say something. Is that um, I, in the show, personally thought it would have been cool to add the stun shooters. So I actually made it, and I added stun shooters at the bottom, shooting out, attacking Wojira. And that's, like, what I really like. Because, like... That, like, is, that, see, like, it's kind of it for the stun shooters, and it's really cool 
that thing so yeah like that's it's really cool the stun shooters i added next the moment i think you guys all have been waiting for is wojira like a really cool like underwater sea dragon and it's really cool so you come up with the tail and then you come up and here you have a spot to put the storm amulet in and then his head here there's like a lever so you press it and it'll open his head up his mouth and then he does horns and then that's kind of it for wojira okay guys so here we have wojira's like his base thingy where he like where he uh like he's attached to before Kalmar like unleashes him and here we have i couldn't really catch it on cam attaching this stuff but here we have two chains connecting to this pole that attaches attaches to wojira in here and then i was wondering in the back what this thing meant but i figured out that if you turn it they're gonna fall off technically and then wojira can technically escape off of like can technically escape and then like I'm free, yay, he could technically escape. So yeah, that's his like mini base. And now guys, for the final thing is I'm gonna be <clears throat> setting up the whole thing like if I was gonna play with it and it's really cool. And I'm gonna show you guys before that that I won't do it, but on each like mini statue there's like grabbing pieces and stuff. And those are meant to connect to all of the statues. So that's it for the big Wojira and Temple of the Endless Sea. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't. And I'm really happy because for me, I'm, I just started like a week ago and I already have 30 subscribers, which is really good for me. So subscribe down below so I can get more subscribers and I'll keep on doing fun videos like this. So if this video gets... 150 likes I will do another video with my brother of showing a Lego so yeah so I'll see you in my next video bye